I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard had to make a choice between Kaden Alenko or Ashley Williams, and inevitably chose Kaden Alenko in the Solarian SGG group. She also came face to face with Saren himself and was able to hold her own, sending him packing. But now she's grounded on the Citadel due to some dirty politics from Udina and the Council. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect video. In this episode, we are going to uh, explore what we can of the Citadel now that we're grounded here and apparently can't leave. But trust me, we're going to get out of here. This is going to be kind of fun as we go and check in with anderson and see what he wants from us thank you guys so much for clicking on this video i really do appreciate you guys and a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres almost every single day around 2 p.m eastern uh you guys you guys are the highlight of my day so we're bringing liara and kaden with us because of some dialogue that we can get but as we were leaving technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently hey that's the one that we are reportedly unsure yeah. of what caused the malfunction or even what the system was originally designed to do CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. That was the AI that we took down, a little robot in the very time, the, uh, one of the first times we were at the Citadel. Ain't that cool? This is why riding the elevators is so cool, because you get, you get little tidbits of what happened. So the Citadel is going to be a lot for us. In the last episode, we also heard that Captain Anderson wanted to see us at Flux, that that casino uh, nightclub area. So that's where we're going to go. But first, it's time, finally, that we talk Hello, to the Commander. requisitions officer because Show we need some got. supplies. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. My friends, we can now buy the best items in the game, the Spectre Master Gear. These are incredibly good prototype weapons. We can buy one of each. Why not? And obviously, we're going to want one of those pistols too. But that is the best that you can get. We have plenty of credits, so we can basically buy whatever we want. So if we take a look at those real quick, because trust me, it is worth. We'll go and look at pistols that we have here. Look at the damage on that baby. 294. Heat sink not as good, but who cares? Accuracy rating also being incredibly good. That, my friends, is getting equipped immediately. Liara actually going to go ahead and equip this shotgun here. The Spectre shotgun, because uh, that is pretty strong for her. But we'll also go ahead and give her a better better pistol as well. And Kaden, we won't give anything to, because he's Kaden. But anyways, that is some of the best weapons that you can get in the entire game. And we just got them. You'll love to see it. Anyways, we want to head to the wards locations. We're not going to head to the Flux just yet. We're actually going to head to the markets. We have some side quests that we can tackle here in the Citadel. The last side quest of the entire game are waiting here for us and we'll see conrad verners here for the last time uh, commander i've been waiting for you to get back i've got an idea and i wanted to run it by you i got a lot going on right now but i can spare a moment great this will just take a minute with so many human colonies being attacked i'm not sure that one specter is enough what if you signed me on as another specter uh, what? I don't know about that, but... Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the Council what humanity is capable of. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at Akuz, but I'd never let you down. And we're going to go ahead and charm him here, or you could use an Intimidate, but this is the best option that you have. I definitely recommend charming him or intimidating him. What about your wife, Conrad? She trusts you, too. Aren't you letting her down? What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. There we go. He's out of here. So we were able to finally finish that assignment that we've had for what feels like forever. There it is. We convinced Conrad that his interest in you is unhealthy and he should head back home to his family. He shouldn't be a problem any longer. But we'll be seeing Conrad in Mass Effect 2. There's actually a glitch that potentially might be in the Legendary Edition where no matter what, if you intimidated him or charmed, 
the the when you import your save to mass effect 2 it acts like he was both intimidated and charmed and then they're going to pick the fact that he was intimidated over charms that bug might be gone but we'll see when we actually get there and we have a few more stops to make which is back this way remember where we met emily wong all those years ago it feels like well somebody else has taken her place in that area somebody who wants something from us we'll see charles saracino no blood for excuse me you're the specter right uh, yeah, that's me. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Uh, what? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. Hmm. Then you've learned nothing. I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. Hmm. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. That's true. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. It's a good theory, but these people are making it sound like a racial issue. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views, but our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals. You know, unfortunately, no. But you no. don't do anything to curtail the racist comments of your members. Of course not, Commander. Whether I disagree with them or not, they have the right to express their opinion. Unfortunately for you, buddy, the appeasers are Sorry, right. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. Wait, what about Shanxi? The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. Unfortunately, buddy, I'm not supporting you. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Is that a threat? That sounded like a threat. Earth first. Earth first. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm good. So, funny story. In the book Mass Effect Ascension, Terra Firma was involved in a kickback scandal involving a uh, Dynamics group, and the fallout from that actually caused the leader, Inez Simons, to resign. The candidates for party leader after that was Charles here and Claude Monet, Monet, Monet something like that. Uh, they were campaigning against each other and suddenly Manu, Manau was ahead in the polls and then mysteriously disappeared while going to Sansi for a political rally. No trace of his ship or crew were ever found, so though, you know, there was plenty of theories. And with the only rival removed, this guy, no matter what, actually ended up becoming the party leader so i have to work the crowd commander maybe we can do lunch sometime i don't trust him and i ain't supporting him no matter what his political gains are anyways now we can head up to flux we only have one side quest left to do on the entire citadel it's crazy man it's crazy i'm really i was really hoping that we would be able to get to 29 here but i don't think that's going to be the case friends 
And as we come up here, we're approached by Elias Keeler. What's up, dude? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Are you what on? kind of situation are what? we talking about? You on something, dude? Of course. Right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Salarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Uh, wait a minute. What exactly is this stimulant? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. Ah. If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. I just don't agree with that. Wait, Why I is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Hmm. You should put some trust in your assistant. My assistant. We already saw no this. race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. Buddy. That's what it took with the Turians. You're an so addict, man. Assistant. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. So we can charm him here. We have a few other choices that we could do. We could actually go and say, hey, yeah, all right. And we could go get him uh, his, his stimulant that he needs. Or we could go and actually buy a sedative, a depressant, and give it to him instead, uh, which will make him drowsy. And then he'll kind of be like, oh, no, uh, which is also fun. But no, we're going to go with that option. I'll see what I can do, but I can't guarantee anything. I understand. I'll pay you back for it. And I can even throw in a little extra. Thanks for your help. Like I said, you can find the stimulant over in the med bay. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to we're going to teach this guy a lesson. Of course, we could just quick travel to the med bay. Super easy. Hello, Dr. Michelle. I needed to grab some Medigel anyways. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, I need supplies. Take a look of course. I need to buy this depressant here. It's a non-addictive narcotic used to treat stress, often prescribed to executives and government officials who tend to overwork. Or this one is the mental stimulant that he's looking for that improves short-term memory. We are going to go with the depressant. Yeah, I know. It's a jerk move, but... And we'll get some renegade points for it. But, hey, it's worth it. And back to Flusk. Fluck, Flux? Flusk? Uh, any luck getting what I asked for? Yeah, I got this for Here. you. This should take care of all your problems. Perfect. The Solarians will never see me coming. Here, this is for your trouble. Thank you. What is... This isn't the stimulant. What did you give me? A lesson, bud. Humanity doesn't need drug addicts negotiating important deals. Get some rust. You bastard. You set me up, alien-loving scum. <laughs> we'll get some experience points, some credits, and nine renegade points for that as well. Hopefully that guy's assistant will take over for us because... Man, how upsetting. Hey, Doran, what's up, dude? Guys, my friends, I would like to show you a dance. Yeah. Listen, sometimes when I know the galaxy is about to end and there's Reapers invading and Saren's on the loose about to destroy everything, we're still going to dance just a, little, just a little bit. Anyways, we can check with our dear Captain Anderson. Seems to be waiting for us. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. 
They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. Wait, you would do that? If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Ah, oh, Anderson, what a good guy. This, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not gonna let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You know what? We could do a few different options here. We could have him go to Citadel Control, or he can break into Udina's office. And you know what? That one sounds good to me. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? And once you hit ready, that's it. You are out of the Citadel in forever. That's it. Like, you do not get to come back to the Citadel. So if you haven't completed any side quests yet, you have to do them before you agree to this. But we're going to go ahead and do one thing real quick. I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here waiting for you. And I just want to go and stop by every shop just to make sure that we did, in fact, get everything that we could. Like this right here, the Geth Armory license that you can get from Moorland down in the markets here in the lower level. So let's go ahead and grab that Geth Armory license. Look it! I got Liara to dance with me. All you have to do, by the way, is if you come up on the dance floor with your love interest, just make sure that they... You know, what are you doing? <laughs> Drinks and dancing down below, gambling up above. Good place to blow off some steam. Oh, okay. But we can dance with Liara. Look how cute she is. Love it. Love it. I just wanted to show that little scene real quick that you can you can dance with your love interest if you just come over and, and bring them with you onto the dance floor. Anyways, I think we're ready to go. We got our Geth Armory license. We danced with Liara. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yes, I am. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. That, my friends, means that the only thing that we have left is to head back to the Normandy. We've done everything we can here. If we look at our whoop, we look at our journal, we'll see that uh, we're going to use the Moo Relay to go to Ilos and stop Saren before he uses the conduit. Anderson is going to be the one that helps us out to do that. And you'll see our assignments. We don't have any. That's crazy. All right. Let's go. It's time to use this. Get back to the Normandy by going to C-Sec. And then, as normal, just head up to the docking bay. That's everything that we can do here on the Citadel. It feels like I'm missing something, but I'm pretty sure is it true we've gotten that everything we can. Implants cause headaches, Lieutenant. I know some meditation exercises that might help. Thanks, Liara. I appreciate that. It makes me wonder what it would have been like to have Asari tutors instead of Turians. Given the attitude most young human males display toward my people, it seems Turians were the best choice. That's a good point. She's not wrong. Once you get on board the Normandy, that is it for the Citadel. Make sure that you've done everything you possibly can on the Citadel. All codex entries, all of the armory stuff that you can buy from people, uh, all of the, the licenses, I should say. 
all of the side quests are done everything that you possibly can should be done and so with that with the help of captain anderson let's get the heck off the citadel we are as ready as we can be hey udina remember that time you were anderson, rude to me what are you doing here i didn't send <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Joker's like, this is exciting. Let's do it. just like that we are off the citadel beautiful nice job can't believe we stole the normandy i know we'll all be court-martialed if this doesn't work out but part of me loves this <laughs> hell yeah presley this is the best part man of of the normandy is that everyone is on board with this everyone is behind shepherd oh damn it no sign of pursuit i was hoping the council would send some ships after us I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. So you need something? You yeah, we're good. Go. All right, see ya. <laughs> I love that. So, funny story. You might have remembered that I mentioned uh, way back when we were on uh, Planet or Listening Post Delta, I mentioned that Lieutenant Duran that you can talk to there. We actually could have... Uh, if we had gone there now after taking the Normandy, we can actually tell her that uh, the the Alliance and the Citadel uh, Council is after us. We can say how like we gotta we gotta move because because they're right on our butts. Well, let's check with our people first. What about Doctor Chakwas? Strange, being a fugitive from the Alliance. This crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. And I won't, Dr. Chakwas. Absolutely not. I like this because now it's time to check in with our, not not the people on our squad, but the, the people on the ship. They all willingly became fugitives. Looking for supplies? <laughs> Including this guy. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Who also in store has sniper rifles, shotguns, assault rifles, and pistol uh, the gear that we want. So we bought a couple of those. I can't believe after everything you told me, uh, it seems a bit extreme, don't you think? Yeah, what choice do we have? Seemingly Normandy's a trivial risk compared to the threat of Saren. Yeah, I suppose you're right. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. You're damn we right, Darius. catch Saren before they realize we're missing. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. Oh, and then he goes right back to goodbye. saying that he wants to thank me. I love that. I accidentally skipped a little bit of what he was saying, but so cool. Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. You and me both. You'll get us through, Shepard. You're damn so right I Rex. will, Rex. Interestingly, Garrus and Rex are the ones that comment, but Liara and Caden don't comment on the fact that we stole an Alliance ship at all. What about Tally? What does she say? We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. I wonder what the council would do to us if we got caught. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. I hope you're right. Oh, and I am. I love I that. She's like, this is exciting. That's how I feel. Heard we're headed into the Terminus systems, Commander. Don't worry, ma'am. The Normandy's a hell of a ship. She'll get us through this. Hell yeah, Engineer Heard Adams. In Don't worry, ma'am. Everything is ready to go, and the squad's on board. 
So let's head back to the galaxy map. And just like that, the whole galaxy now awaits our fugitive butts to go and explore. Let's go to the Citadel. Oh, shucks, we can't. A part of me wishes there was like a weird mini game where like a circle starts following you and you have to like move around, but no, that's okay. We'll see that we have the destination of Ilos here at the Pangea Expanse, which has not been there because obviously this is by the Terminus systems. This is where all of the Terminus systems are. Uh, and that is no good. We don't want to go there. That's bad. It's illegal, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we're obviously going to go there. The point is that's where we have to go. But first we have the Bring Down the Sky DLC. And I think this is a wonderful time to do it. Even though we are fugitives, uh, this is honestly the best time. And that is in the Exodus cluster, Asteroid X-57. And that's exactly where we're going. The Exodus cluster has two different systems here, Utopia, and where Asteroid X-57 is, Asgard. Funny thing about the Utopia system, that's actually where Eden Prime is, which we would never have known because that's not where we've been. But yeah, Eden Prime's there. We never used the galaxy map to get there, obviously, in the beginning because we weren't in control, but it's there. There's also a planet named Xanadu, and all I want to do now is watch Xanadu and Nirvana, which now all I want to do is listen to Smells Like Teen. The point is, I just think it's cool that there's an entire system here that, like, we've been to, but you don't know that we've been there. So it looks like Asteroid X-57 is here, the DLC of Mass Effect 1. The only DLC of Mass Effect 1 that's actually available in the Legendary Edition. The other one being Pinnacle Station, which was corrupted and is actually not that big. There's no story or anything there, so it's not a big deal. We'll see that there's a planet named Terra Nova. As soon as we get there, Terra Nova was one of the Class 1 colonization prospects discovered by the first wave of Lion surveys in 2150. It was the second human extrasolar colony and the first beyond the Charon mass relay. It currently has the highest population of any Alliance colony, though banded by a harsh equatorial de desert. Areas closer to the poles are temperate. There are 4.4 million people here on the planet of Terra Nova. Terra Nova has seen a 30% rise in population and growth does not appear to be slowing. But that means that the only place we can go to is Asteroid X-57, which we have no idea why we would be going here. It's a metallic asteroid originally located at the trailing Lagrange point of the gas giant Bohr. With the increased development of Terra Nova, a new orbital port facility was necessary. Due to a shortage of funding, it was decided to mine out X-57 using recovered resources to finish out the interior for habitation. The asteroid was deaccelerated from Bohr's uh, orbit using fusion torches, allowing it to fall into the orbit of Terra Nova. Recently, communications with the engineering team on X-57 have been lost. The fusion torches have reignited, and the asteroid is accelerating towards Terra Nova, the one of the most populous colonies. Oh no. That's a problem for Commander Corey Shepard. This is one of those missions where Liara Tassoni and Talia Zora and Araya are going to be pretty awesome. And that's exactly who we're going to bring. You're actually not tied to this squad. You're allowed to leave this asteroid anytime. Status. Sensors reveal three fusion torches propelling asteroid X-57. At its current rate of acceleration, the asteroid will collide with Terra Nova in approximately four hours. Analysis. Torches must be disabled to cease the acceleration. Hello. I heard your transmission. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Shut down the fusion torches. I'm going to die. God, I hope you're hearing this. And we did. So we are on the the asteroid, not planet, of X-57, which has been mined and is heading towards that planet right there. Seemingly going to crash into it and destroy literally everything. Now, it said that it crashes in four hours, but we actually have unlimited time. We could go back to the... the well, we can't go back to the... The Citadel right now, but in theory, you could. Now, if we come up here... We'll find this anomaly with a technician kit. Love to see it. And the body of G. Mendel. The victim was beaten badly before being killed with a pistol shot to the back of the head at close range. It's likely he surrendered only to be executed by his sadistic captors. 
inside here we can find a med station and station logs the central transmission tower is on the fritz again no one ever listens to my warnings about single points of failure i'm surprised our surface comms work half as well as they do when slouch show up to relieve me i'll go see if i can get the old girl back up and running interesting that gave us a new location to head to so back to the normandy as we head to this facility here Now, you can see the fusion torches as we're here, and they actually look similar to the cutscene that we saw before. But as we get closer to those fusion torches that need to be shut down, we're going to notice something very strange, something that we haven't seen before. This is why I wanted to save this to the end, actually, is because this place, this mission does reward some of the best gear in the game if you are high enough level. So right in the corner here, we'll see a turret that is actually guarded so that you have to get close. A special kind of turret that rewards a thousand XP when destroyed. We'll see another turret over on the sides here. Let's try to see if we can take out these at a distance. Heavy turrets similar to ones that we've seen on other planets, but these ones are ripping through our shields. We gotta get close enough to do some damage. A thousand XP per defeated turret. Just barely avoiding those turrets, we'll go ahead and use our Omni Gel to repair. That was close. That was the first time ever throughout this game that I almost died in the Mako. One turret remains. Still not quite enough XP. Now if we check our map, we'll see that there's a transmission tower over here. We're actually going to go grab that real quick before heading into this facility. Getting up here, we find just this small transmitter tower, which we can go ahead and repair. Data link between the transmission tower and several survey stations have been restored. Survey station locations are now shown on our map, which is pretty useful. You'll see that we have actually already been to this survey station over here. That's where we found uh, that body of G. Mendel. And then we have survey station one over here and survey station two, as well as the fusion torches and a main facility so let's head in here see if we can clear the first of three torches who could be responsible for these torches and all of these dead humans Tarians. Barak, check check Batarians! We've heard about Batarians before. These guys apparently not fans of humans' expansion into the the systems here. Release the Baron. Go ahead and destroy that fuel tank behind them, taking out looked like a couple of them actually. Go ahead and see if we can actually send Liara's singularity out here. Uh, more Varen, unfortunately, coming in. We'll go ahead and lift them. As we absolutely melt these Baron. Batarian troopers looking very healthy. We'll go ahead and pop a barrier here. Another singularity to the ones in the distance there. Keep them CC'd. Pick them down. These guys don't get much XP at all, which is really, really unfortunate because I need so much of it. Another singularity on the two that are standing here. Only one Batarian trooper remains. Taking them down means that we've cleared everything that's here. In the back of the room, we can find a grenade storage box and, oh, a storage locker. No items on the main floor, but let's head up to the second floor to see if we can find anything waiting for us. Upstairs in the back room, we found one crate that we could uh, hack to get and also torch control. Go ahead and disable this torch. Offline. Was that you? 
Can you hear me? Who are you? What's going on? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Why are they doing this? I don't know. But if this asteroid isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. If I find out anything, I'll... I've gotta go. Good luck. What? Isn't that... It's so cool! What a great mission for DLC, let me tell you. So, we have to head out of here. See if we can shut down the other torches. And apparently rescue some hostages? Hey. Oh God, I didn't mean to. Are you hurt? Takes more than one shot to bring me down. Sorry, I didn't even realize you were human until, well, I guess I'm not much of a soldier. I know you're scared, but I'm here to help. Commander Shepard with the Alliance. Simon, Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities. Good schools. I don't have time to do the math in my head. What happens if we don't stop this rock? X-57 is 22 kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. Millions. The heat of the blast. A thousand kilometers away, clothes will ignite. There'll be global wildfires. Air shock will flatten everything for hundreds of kilometers. Terra Nova will die, Shepard. Not just our colony, the planet. There'll be a climate shift, mass extinctions. The ecosystem won't recover for thousands of years. Millions, maybe. Is there any chance it'll land in the oceans? That would be even worse. Tsunamis would sweep inland at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Millions of tons of water would be vaporized at the point of impact. Global cloud coverage. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. I'd have to run the numbers, but take my word for it. It'd be bad. Yeah, no, that that sounds like worst-case scenario. This doesn't make any sense. Batarians run criminal gangs. Unethical, but profitable. They don't destroy worlds. What does this gain them? I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought the Batarians would go this far. You were on the ground when this happened. How many Batarians have you seen? And where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes. No idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. This guy's eyebrows. Fight. What is going on? Any idea who's behind this? Who's leading them? That might provide a clue. I heard a couple of them talking. They mentioned a Balak. It sounded like he's the one in charge. They didn't seem convinced this was a good idea, but they were scared of the guy. Scared enough to do what he wanted. Most Batarians aren't genocidal madmen, but these are terrorists. Yeah, I know. It's just, this isn't how I expected the world to be when I rolled out of bed this morning. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. Can you just turn those off, though? You set them up. Can you disable them? Not from here. No. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Any idea where I can find them? They were running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. I came across a member of your crew. He didn't make it. I... I see. Well, maybe the other two are still out there. You never know. 
There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Give me a worst case scenario. We can't stop the asteroid. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? Shepard, it took 30 years for the population to grow that large. I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand off-world. We just don't have enough ships. No one does. Well, maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. That's true. Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals we extract almost cover the costs. What can you tell me about Kate? Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. If they find her... Oh, Katie. This guy's do poor face, stupid. man. Alright, just stay out of sight. You better find a good place to hide. If the Batarians come back and find you... Yeah. I think I'll make myself scarce. Good luck, Shepard. Good luck, eyebrow ma'am, Simon. So it looks like we have two... Two fusion torches to turn off in the main facility to get back into. Jeez. I think we can do that. In the next episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Thank you guys so much for checking out this episode. Uh, I'm really glad that we were able to get to the Citadel. Finish all the side quests that we can do. And to get started with the DLC of this game just in this episode. In the next episode, we will finish off everything that we can do here on Asteroid X57. And... Uh, see what awaits us and hopefully be able to we're still unfortunately level 28 uh man 30,000 xp away from level 29 i don't know if we're going to be able to hit level 30 in this playthrough which really sucks uh, i was hoping to get was hoping to get that uh that completionist run but unfortunately with the bug at the very beginning that they fixed until later uh, i just don't know if there was enough xp for us we've done everything in the game so Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And remember to leave a comment and a like. It really helps out these videos. Huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. I sincerely appreciate you guys. And I will see you in the next episode. Never give up. Never surrender to the Batarians. Goodbye, everyone.